Okay, so we've got a new product here. I'm just going to give you a quick run through on it. If I can get it open. So this is actually uh, the Pro Digital Microscope. Um, it comes with a 3.5 inch LCD screen, uh, high image capture resolution, 220 times digital ma uh, magnification plus four times digital zoom. Uh, USB Gusnik LED light, diffuser LED base light. It comes with uh, gem, gem tweezers, it comes with a uh, gem tray, a ring holder, a lightweight, and it's also very portable, as you can see. It comes in the box with a handle on the top. Let's just open it up and have a look. So, this is the actual microscope itself. Um, it's rechargeable. In, I've already put the battery in, but it comes with one of these lithium batteries. So if you're actually traveling with it, make sure you check it in, don't put this in your case. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's charged, so we just check, and I think it is. So let's turn it on. Why it's turning on? So it comes with this CD here, this is your instruction CD. Uh, it includes everything you need to know on there. It also comes with the instruction booklet. And then in the bottom, in the bottom you've got your accessories package. So in here we've got a whole assortment of goodies. Um, you've got the HDMI uh, USB, sorry, USB cable for connecting it to the PC. You've got your video out and audio, uh, sorry, not audio, just video out so you can connect it to uh, TV or your PC so you can see the big screen. Um, your power recharging lead, and that comes with uh, two adapter types depending on your location. It comes with um, SD card as you can take pictures with this so you press the picture button you can take a picture of what you're viewing. Um, comes with the colored discs here so depending on the stones you're putting in you can even use the light on the bottom here there or you can not use the light and you can put the colored disc in depending on where the stone what stone you're using basically basically preference at the end of the day. So that's those. I like to use a black one. Um, you've got loose stone tray here, so uh, you also have this illuminates too, so what you've got here is you can actually bring the light up on that. Let's just get that on there and carry the focus a little bit. So you can put loose stones on here and move this around too, which is very useful. Uh, you've got this device here, so this device here, if I bring this up close, this device here, you can put a diamond in here, um, so it actually just, it actually just spring loaded from here, so you can actually just pull this out and pinches on the diamond there, so, and then what you can do is you can actually turn the diamond around, and this is weighted, so this is for pulling out and put place in a diamond, this is weighted, and what you can see that the diamond is on the side there. So by placing this in, you can see the girdle. So to, to do that, you will need one of these lenses. It comes with two lenses. I think this is not that one, it's this one. It comes with this extra magnification lens. So when checking the inscription on the girdle of a diamond, then you have to pop this lens in the bottom. So you can turn off this top light by the little switch here and pop this, this just pushes up inside, nice and easy, like that, like so. And you can place this underneath, and you can already see without any focusing that I can see the inscription. So if I just bring it in a little bit here, there you go. And then, so, and if I wanna put some light on it, down the bottom here on the right, if I wanna put some light on it, down the bottom here on the right is, 
you can bring up some light. And then, so you've also here got your four times zoom. So you can go right in like that. You see that? Just go back out again. So you can go right in like that. You know, and if you think there's too much light in the background, you can take it right down. When it's right in close, you can focus it a bit more. Uh, lost it there at the moment. I think the battery. That battery is good. We need to bring up some more light. That's the problem. Yeah, there you go. So let's get that right. bring that right in and read the inscription like that so that's that it also comes with um, two of these little devices this is um, can you bring this actually a bit closer in okay so it also comes with the ring holders so uh, I'll just grab a ring on a yeah, I'll just use this one. I don't have a diamond here with me, but just to give you a quick demonstration. So this just slips under here like this. Now hold your ring like that. So if you've been looking at the inscription, then you must remember to take out the extra additional lens by holding onto the white piece. This white piece actually comes out for cleaning purposes and it has a little groove in the back, which has to be at the back position so that you can insert it back in. Uh, so you can put your ring under there like that and then you should take the zoom out first, take the zoom away first and then you focus here. So like that, so somewhere in this ring I, I know. So you know, this is, so you can see the ring like that over on the top. I do have an inscription in here somewhere, I think that's it there. Yeah, that, oh, there you go, there you can see that. And you can actually zoom that right in as well, like so. And that can go in even more. And you can play around with the focus. And then also you can uh, bring up some light here on it too, if you want to. There you go. You see, so you can bring up the light on the top. If you want, if it helps to bring up light from the bottom, a little bit you see it changing there you can and also what you've also got is, like if you've got a, a nice stone in there or something you can use this little device which is USB light USB light stick I can pop in the bottom here and I'll give you an additional light here there you go you see that and so what you can do is then you can see as I move this around, it reflects on the jewellery there. As I move it around, it reflects, if you look at the screen, it reflects there. So that's an additional light there on that. On that. That's this item here. You can move that in as so. And then what you've also got is, um, so if you want to just look at normal stones, um, I don't have a loose stone, yeah, I do have a loose stone of course, I have loose stone here, so, um, so if, you, if you just want to look at a regular stone, then you can use the gem holder here, and you've got a left and right position. So you've got your gem holder here, like on the standard microscope, and this can be placed in your left position or your right position, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm gonna place it over here. And then you can pop your stone in here. Now you can play around with this. So it's always best to zoom out first on the digital zoom and then focus, let's get that in position, and then focus on the stone. And then if you want to go in super close, pull this up. There you go, look, you can see, now this is just a CZ, so basically a, a, a pot piece of glass. But you can um, finalize the zoom there. There you go, now you can see, look, I've zoomed in here, you can see these cuts here, they're rough because it's just a really rough cut but also I haven't got the SD card in there but if I put the SD card in there that it comes with 
So if you pop the SD card that it comes with, uh, it comes with a uh, eight gigabyte SD card. So this can also take a video of what you're viewing, or you can pop the SD card in the side here and you just press take a photo. Obviously, please insert SD. I'm not gonna use the SD card because it's a new product, but uh, it'll take a photo. Um, you can also, as I said, plug it into a computer screen. Um, so that you can actually view it much larger for customer reference or your own reference. So you can actually plug it into your PC or TV there. Storage card goes in there. You've got the loose stone tray here for measurements as well. So, you know, and it's of course nice and easy to take a picture there. So that you can see your stone like that. Uh, obviously if you move it, it might go out of focus, but you can also play around here. So, so that's that, and then what you've also got, so if, you, if you're familiar with hearts and arrows, which basically if a stone has the perfect cut, you will be able to see, you'll be able to see um, a circle of hearts on one side of the stone and a circle of perfect cut arrows on the other side of the stone. It's a very perfect cut stone. So to view that, you need a hearts and arrows viewer. Well, so we have a hearts and arrows viewer that has been made for this. And again, that inserts into the bottom here. Now with the hearts and arrows viewer, it's always best, you push it up inside, and it's always best to have the light source on from above because the hearts and arrows viewer relies on a light source from above, but it doesn't need one from the base. So you can turn off the base light and push your, pop your stone, in here, so if you're looking at table side up, there's uh, the, the base here with a hole in, so you can look at table side up, or if you want to look at the other way up, you can actually just turn the base over and pop the stone on the other way up. So we're gonna look at the table side, and we'll pop that in now. Just need to get that lined up a little bit. Again, move the zoom right out to zero, and then pull the hearts and arrows scope and down onto the base there and then focus it now this obviously is not a perfectly cut stone but you can get the idea there how it would show it what it does has a reflection in there that shows it on the um, pulls out the colors using the blue reflection there just move that over it a little bit more there you go don't move that too far now that's it, uh, get that aligned a bit better. So there you go, and you can also again zoom in on that but, um, if you want to. So, pretty impressive. I'm going to go up close here with the camera um, so you just get a close up of this. So, it's an excellent little product. You can take pictures, send to customer. It's rechargeable, so you don't need it plugged in all the time. You know, give you an idea of the height. There's my hand. Uh, I can measure that as well. Like that, really nice. And finally, I just didn't explain one other thing. Is if you're putting a stone in the gem holder here, and you would like a different background, So you switch to the black background here like that. You see the difference already? And zoom it in. Not zoom it in, sorry. Uh, focus here. There you go. And you can put a bit of light on it if you want to. But personally, I think. Once you're zoomed in again, you can get some more focus there. So you can get right in on the stone like that. Uh, you can change, and you can change the background, of course. So depending on your stone and you know your pink background, which is a diamond, the grey there, try the yellow. If you zoom out, you'll see the effect a bit better there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You see, a different background gives a different 
So you want to take a picture or something and pen it on the stone. Purple there. Red. And a nice white, pure white background there. And the blue. So that's it basically. It's a really nice all round digital microscope. Perfect for pictures, perfect for inscriptions, everything you need. Turn it off. Nice and easy.